welcome back to my channel welcome back to my kitchen so today I was making this rice and I decided to film it to show you how I made it it was so delicious I call it village rice like traditional rice if you're interested come with me let's have a look so I started by frying my onions tomato paste I fried the tomato paste and the onions for around three to four minutes before I added the rest of the ingredients because the tomato paste is very tangy if not fried for a long for a while so I fried it to get rid of that tangy taste in the tomato paste so now I'm adding the iru powdered iru uh, which is locust bean in English so the dry leaves I just added in there I call them African bay leaves I don't know the actual name in English but they smell very nice we use it to perfume the sauces the stews you can put it in everything and then I will add my garlic and ginger Okay, so now it's time to add the tomatoes, fresh chopped tomatoes. It's better than canned tomatoes. It makes a lot of difference to use the fresh one instead of the canned tomatoes. So I'll be frying a little bit and then add dry fish. This is dry fish powder that you see there. So here I'm adding a spice, it's an African spice, it's called Aja and I bought it in an African store. It's very nice, it gives a very nice taste to your rice, to your stew, it's very delicious. And in goes my stock. So this stock was chicken stock, it's chicken stock. I made it a few days back when I cook my chicken or fish or beef, whatever it is, if I have stock, if I have nothing to do with it, I keep it in the freezer and I use it when I feel like using it. So that was uh, chicken stock that I added in there. I added a bit of water as well because the liquid was not enough. Now we're gonna leave it to boil and meanwhile, we're gonna debone our fish. This fish is um, it's called mackerel and I smoked it in my garden. So here it is, all deboned and ready to go back in the sauce. Okay, so we're gonna add it in the sauce that I've been boiling add a chili I drop my chili as a whole like that in my soup or in my most of my cookings because my children don't eat chili at all yes that's very surprising but yes my children don't eat chili at all so I rather drop it like that in there for like anybody who wants to add chili to their food they can crush it in their own plate yes sometimes I'll add one two three four it depends how many people eat it how many people I know we eat it that it's chili okay so I added salt you season it and make sure everything is there salt spice everything is on point and we're gonna add our rice washed cleaned and everything <laughs> Okay, so after adding the rice, we're gonna mix very well. We're gonna cover and leave it to cook on very low heat until it's all cooked. Please, if you have watched till this point and have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support. And see you next time. Bye.